generous gift, and, and it's all because of Mr. Quayle and Jesus in your heart, and it actually turned the corner for me. I, I just can't thank you enough for that. And it's, it was out of the blue, and when Pam opened that envelope, well, I was driving the car, and she just literally started bawling. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, i got to tell you something. I know them very well. I love their kids. Uh, their 13-year-old son is writing a book, asked me if I'd publish it. When we get together, I, 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 I you know, I mean, it's amazing. Let me, let me help promote that book when it comes available. I will because, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, he's an amazing guy. Here's a kid that's read everything I've written, asked me questions beyond what I've written, and now he's writing his own book. He's lovely. And and I got to tell you, I got a chance to pray for all their kids. What a blessing it was. These kids, I mean, and Jenny is, you know, let's just say this. She's a firebrand. I mean, God knows she's like a one-woman evangelism team, you know, and she studies the Word of God. And these are people, you guys, that we really are grateful for. And I just, you know, I've got I've got Marion Ulf, and I've got, I've got others I can name them. I have a gentleman who's one of my dearest friends. I'll just say his initials because I can't give his name just because of what he was formerly. But J.P., what a gracious man. What an encouraging man. Jim, if you're listening, God bless you, brother. I love you with all my heart. There are people that I have come to know that are as close as my family members, and there are some people I've never met that are as close as my family members. So the thing that I'm trying to say is, look, God does have a family. And for those of you who are isolated, here's a promise. I've been claiming this because it breaks my heart, it truly does, that people are alone. They have no fellowship. They have no like-minded believers. They feel like they're islands unto themselves. They're scorned by fellow believers. They're considered nutcases or, like me, uh, doomsters or whatever. And <laughs> I think you just describe my entire audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what? There, I, there's a promise in the Word of God. I claim, and I want my intercessors to claim it. He sets the isolated in families. Okay. He sets the the lonely in families. God sets the those who don't have families. And he brings them into His family. And I'm talking. There's real Christian love, and then there's the hokey pokey stuff. Okay, that sits around and sings kumbaya, but wouldn't buy a bag of groceries if their lives depended on it. I have nothing to do with them. I want nothing to do with them. And and I got I say God bless them, but that's not where I'm at. You know. You know. Um, w- our producer, CJ, wants to jump in here and, and give out a shout-out for all the folks that are, are listening to the um, Liberty Network. And, CJ, jump in here because, you know, Steve and I get on a roll, and we, we forget about breaks. We don't take a breath, and 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 we, we don't have a format. We don't have a script, and we go from topic to topic, and we, we do want to get into the weather wars here in a bit and, and, and talk about all the research Steve's done and and Hawk is has got his ears on the ground. He gets so much intelligence reports, and you know some is pretty damn scary, but you know it, it is the way it is. So CJ, are you there? He's probably gonna run run back to the mic. Okay, well CJ, are you there? Yeah, I'm live. Okay, you're, <laughs> gotta, you're live. I got to plug in the mic. <laughs> okay, I, I want to give you a little airtime here. Okay, yeah. I want to thank you and all your fellow hosts at Liberty Broadcasting Network that have made their streams available to, to get our time out over the airways because I know servers are crashing and people can't log on and they're getting bumped off and ours would be always interfere with Mr. Quayle and I. Yeah, the, the important thing is that, I, and I want to thank each and every one of you for joining uh, the Liberty Broadcasting, uh, John Stokes, welcome to the family. We consider this a family uh, network with all of our hosts, and uh, and it is something special because uh, a lot of these uh, Patriot networks out here do not speak about God and lift Him up, and this network strides on uh, putting God first. And, and I just want to thank all the listeners right now for joining us, and please visit our website. It's a really hot website, uh, libertybroadcastingnetwork.com. And if you're having some problems with uh, the stream coming in and out, um, usually you'll have to update your flash player. Um, that seems to be the the case with the um, um, with the uh, with the stream there. But you can try uh, Mozilla or Firefox. That's another um, uh, browser that you that you can use to get the, the the broadcast. You can always go over to TalkStreamLive.com and click on there. There's a couple. Uh, I know Tom Donahue had put his stream up to uh a cat um to um fill in 
Uh, so if you're having problems with the Liberty Broadcasting because it's full, go ahead to TalkStreamLive.com and click on uh, the second one there. I think it's Free Thinker Radio. Let me just click on your name here. You're killing it on second. Yeah, Free Thinker Radio. We've added a stream for this show right here. And uh, I just want to thank everybody uh, for joining in on us. And uh, we love you guys, and uh, we look forward to bringing uh, an awesome show. I know the sound quality is just phenomenal with John right now. We, we, you know, for the last couple of days, we've been working hand and foot to make sure that this sound quality is the best for you guys out there. Thank you so much, CJ. And, and you're right. I mean, there's not many people that are willing to just step out there and lay it out. And <laughs> hey, you're one of the few, and, and you're so appreciated. And, and so is Tom Donahue and all the other hosts. And thank you, Tom, uh, for, for making your time available for us. And because we're worldwide right now, and we're probably <laughs> getting a message out that a lot of people don't want you to hear. And it's just that simple. And, and it's, it's not all about God, in my opinion, it's 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 about you and your personal relationship. And I can't quote you scripture, and I'm not going to try and convert you or make you born again. It, but you're truly, truly somebody I care about, and anything I can do to help you, I will. And just uh, know that we have held all of our commercials except for the top of the hour here for this show in respect for Steve Quayle and John Stokes in the listening audience. So please visit our website. Pay attention to our sponsors. Pay attention to John Stokes' sponsors as well, because without the sponsorship, you know where we'd all be. Absolutely. And if any of you want to place your banner on my site, and if you have what it takes, you know, I'll talk to you. Uh, it's very affordable. We need the money. We're sucking eggs down here like most people are in this business. And and if you want to be, become an advertiser and promote your product to our family, by all means, call me or email me at stokes at z600.com. Uh, we've got some fantastic stuff out there from the stills to the honey to the salmon. Um, this is stuff that's going to get you by, folks. And the, the salmon and the honey will absolutely be preserved for your lifetime, and it will help you get through this storm that's coming. And there is a storm coming. Well, I think the storm is underway, and I, I would like to say this. The storms are underway. What I've tried to do, John, in my book, Weather Wars, is to lay the background of all upper atmospheric testing, Project Argosy, obviously the nuclear detonations, the upper atmosphere, the manipulation and the interference of the Van Allen belt, all of this stuff going forward, you know, cloud seeding. But I get into a lot of, of the technology and a lot of the patents. You know, again, before you listen to somebody just diss, D-I-S-S, and say, oh, I don't believe it, the point is, is that they can't, you know, see if they've even read uh, Dr. Eastland's uh, heart patent. See if they've even looked into the mind control patents. You see, because when people say, I don't understand how people can be so dumb. I've made that statement for a lot of years, and then obviously it dawned on me. We have been dumbed down by what we eat. We are being dumbed and numbed down by what we breathe. We are being numbed and dumbed down by all of the additives, all of the chemicals, all of the pollutants, environment. And if there are 50,000 secret uh, uh, ingredients lists that are held under patents, you know, we don't know everything. And now they want to put lithium in the water systems of America? Ladies and gentlemen, if you see anybody who is advocating that, understand they are the evil one. Now, look, somebody said, well, what about some dumbass and those... Though that's probably uh, an alliteration, or, or some donkey, dumb donkey that doesn't know any better, then inform him. Teach him what lithium did. Teach him why it's illegal to put lithium in the water in European countries. You know, find out why it's prescribed for people that go into psychosis and, and, and that basically have neurological uh, conditions that need it. They want to numb you, you numb you before they um, kill you. I'm, 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 I'm losing you again. I mean, this happens all the time, folks. Uh, I got most of that. But one of the things people may think ad nauseum I talk about, because it's a mass cover-up, is one, the Gulf uh, genocide going on with the Corexit and BP. They haven't capped anything down there, folks. It's still coming ashore. It's killing all all life in the Gulf. And the volcano's going off in Iceland and and you can relate to Mount St. Helens, you see the visual. You see that thing spewing out the, bu the bowels.
the bowels of uh, the earth, and you can see those particles. That's exactly what's going on with Fukushima. We have six nuclear reactors over there that are in complete meltdown. They've been going on for two and a half months, 24-7, and, but it's an invisible killer. And you sent me the email or the alert from Cliff Hyde that we've all been murdered. This is a kill shot on humanity, and maybe my anxiety and my anxiousness is trying to get people prepared for this. It's like, it's got us. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The rainwater is going to contaminate all the crops. There's going to be pre-Fukushima food, and there's going to be post-GMO <laughs> Fukushima food. But radioisotopes are nothing to mess with, and they're, they're bathing this planet. And it has a half-life of 14 million years. They've got their tunnels. They've got their underground cities. We don't. And we got to stay on this side of the grass as long as we can. And the people of Walmart aren't going to make it. I want every one of you to have the best quality of life in our remaining days. And But this Fukushima thing, it's for real. It's for real. You can't see it. You can't touch it. It's not on our side of the planet. Japan's over. It's gone. And we're next in line. Well, well, John, I want to give people a little bit of intel coming from over there through the people that are in the world of the atomic energy. Supposedly, what I received in the last 24 hours is that uh, the Japanese are running on only 15 of their 40, or I'm sorry, 15 of their 55 nuclear plants. Uh, they've shut down, uh, evidently, close to 40 of them in anticipation of more events, okay? Now, I can't validate or verify this, but everyone who has a relationship with living God can pray about this. This is full-scale weather warfare. I can't verify the story of, uh, you know, the international elite bank uh, blackmailing and bank mailing Japan. I don't think people understand the yen carry trade. Just simply this, the yen carry trade is Japan lent money all over the world at no interest. And they pretty much funded the world. And so there are rumors, I hear me again, rumors that Japan is being blackmailed, that if they don't come up with 6 trillion yen, you know, and uh, I'm sorry, 600 trillion yen, which is $6 trillion, that more events are on the horizon. Anticipating that is uh, why the reactors have been shut down. And anticipating that, the threat are, I am told, seismic threats. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I give information like that, all I can tell you is what I've said for 19 years on talk radio. Take it to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord if what I'm telling you is true. If you can't hear the voice of God, then put it on the shelf and just see how these things play out. Again, weather wars. No one gave a darn about that when I wrote the book. Neither did they care about Breathe No Evil. And now that, uh, you know, obviously the the uh, Chinese white papers are out there, the whole antagonism, <coughs> excuse me, between the United States and China and the financial realm. Look, I'm, I, I can give people 500 stories, but I can't deal with the hyenas and jackals who by their own self-denial it doesn't matter if you gave them all the evidence in the world, you know? It's like Jesus realized that there were some people even he couldn't get through because he said you had Moses. Even You, 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 won't, you won't even believe the one rise from the dead, you know? So the point is, is that when you're dealing with the spirit of unbelief, that is a real entity, okay? And so the only way to displace the unbelief that's in Christians' lives is by reading the Word of God, which the Bible states... Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And now, let me share this. You cannot, you can have faith in your fellow man, it'll fail you. I'll fail people. I mean, God knows I have to read my email to see how many people think I fail them daily. Or, or people comparing me. I want to share this too, John. I don't ask anyone to compare their walk to mine. Your walk with Jesus is your walk with Jesus. My walk with Jesus is my walk with Jesus. I'm doing what I'm called to do. I pray you do what you're called to do and quit being busybodies, not only with me but with others. Because basically what a lot of people want to do is live out a vicarious walk with someone else. In other words, they want to live their relationship with the Lord through someone else, but they're too lazy to uh, pay the price to get a relationship with the Lord. You know, does that make sense to you? I'm, I'm again, being, your your audio is, is intermittent with me, but I am getting the message, and I, and I want to share something with you. <laughs>